Are we recording? I think we are. Hey guys, this is our first way fucking long overdue video vlog since I am Error Days. I've been wanting to do this for forever and I just filmed an intro sequence for my intro to video project for Little Prince and I have an HD camera on me. I figured why the fuck not, right? So anyway, some things that I want to address for a long ass time. Um, the first one is the whole Mixed Emotions tour thing that I'm doing in January. Unfortunately, just kind of due to general apathy from promoters and even fucking DIY kids. I'm not even asking for guarantees and shit, but it, I almost get the impression that a lot of people don't care or don't really have the means to set shit up. So, that being said, we have two shows for sure. One of them is in LA, or North Hollywood to be exact, at Hustle House. It's a cool fucking venue. The guys, uh, Marcel, and don't remember the other guy's name, used to be Wet Dreams. They own the venue. It's mad fucking cool. We're gonna be playing with uh, Vincent Fla, uh, Halloween Swim Team provided they get back to us, and of course, I'm playing with Bubblegum Octopus as well. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting someone. Okay, well, anyway. The second show is going to be at the Bico Garage in Isla Vista, kind of by Santa Barbara, and that's going to be with <laughs> Coach McGurk, or McGurk. I haven't heard them, but uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the TV show reference. And then uh, Treasure Mammal, who's kind of established in the whole noisy, indie-ish LA scene. So I'm really excited for those two shows, and those are also going to be the two first shows in which I actually um, have like a more full setup. I've been practicing guitar like a fucking man possessed lately, um, so there's gonna be a that. Um, I have a sampler in the setup now, so there's like more live triggering, especially for uh, some of the new songs off Negative Emotions, and I'm also gonna be using synth sparingly. But that also brings me to my next point, is there's a lot of kids who don't seem to really know what I've been doing musically lately, and they're kinda asking, you know, when's your next thing coming out, what are you doing, blah blah blah. Um, well, basically the reason why it's taken so long from uh, the release of Grand Battle to what I'm doing now, uh, Negative Emotions, Positive Outlook, it's because it's a fucking epic ass <laughs> a double album. It's gonna be like 29 songs long. Um, and that being said, I have a shitload of recording to do. I think I'm actually gonna get a little bit of it done today. But yeah, I mean, 29 songs, I mean, Grand Battle was 10 songs, you know how long that took. <laughs> so that being said, it's going to be quite some time, I'm thinking, um, to actually get everything recorded and getting it to where I want it to sound and everything. And that is going to be a free release when I do eventually release it. Um, before that, I might release a single of some sort. Um, with a couple of songs on it, with uh, Lincoln and Rose, and then this other one that I've been working on. But ever since my laptop broke, I needed to get uh, the hard drive, uh, they needed to salvage all the shit that was off it. It would be, it would be very, very bad if I lost what was on there, because <laughs> like half of negative emotions is on my laptop, and I get transferred to my desktop over yonder, where I actually master everything and make it sound saucy. Um, Thirdly is, every once in a while I'll get a kid asking when Pete shirts are coming out or Pete face shirts or Sarah shirts or whatever. And so that being said, I don't think I've ever actually, I haven't promoted the way that I've wanted to, but now here you get your own special exclusive Pete bump. Look at this sexy piece of work. Pete of work. La la la. This is the Pete face. I think I'm selling this for 12 bucks plus shipping right now. It's either 12 or 10. I can't think of the exact figure off the top of my head. On American Apparel, as always. Very sexy. And then, of course, an only but a goodie and on sale for, I'm pretty sure, 10 bucks is the Sarah shirt. All your friends will know that you are a much more attractive stoner when you wear this shit. I mean, even the fucking design, I named it like Lysergic Lips or something. I mean, look at this shit. Even if your friends think it's psychedelic Eggman or whatever, I still think that's pretty bad. That being said, um, I'm trying to think of what else I was supposed to cover in this. Oh yeah, just kind of as a fun fan, I wanted to say some of the bands that I've been listening to because I feel like some of you shitty cybers and stuff feel like I hold like such a high, um, 
kind of the, the bar for the music that I listen to, that I must be super elitist and snobby, and I am kind of a music snob, yeah, I definitely say so, but that's more just because I have very high expectations for myself, my own music, my art, all that other shit. Oh, um, before I go into the music I've been listening to, um, monomate.com, that's M-O-N-O-M, -O -O and then the number 8, dot com is now up, that's my portfolio website. And you can see some of the graphic design and other things that I do, why I've been going to school, basically. Uh, you can check it out there. And you can also download um, some of my older free releases, like Remnants or uh, Trout Yogurt on there. So that's pretty cool, and you kind of get an insight into what I've been doing. And then um, I'm actually, over break probably, I'm going to flesh out the band portion of that more. So you, there will be a section for tour dates and... Uh, the CSS will be more uh, akin to my branding and whatnot. Anyway, back to music that I've been listening to lately. Um, the Animals is Leader self-titled. It's pretty old and I've had it for a while now, but now that they released the video for CAFO or CAFO or whatever it is now, it's a good fucking band. I mean, even if you're not really into proggy stuff necessarily, I would definitely recommend it. That and I've been really into like early 90s ambient stuff, like the first two um, Apex Twin albums, or A Tekker, I think it is, or you know, just shit in that vein, the whole kind of ambient thing, Brian Eno. Um, I don't think what else I've been listening to. Um, a lot of um, early No Wave stuff, like Sonic Youth's Confusion is Sex, stuff like that. It kind of breaks my heart when I realize that most of my fan base still listens to like Metal Corey, A Day to Remember kind of stuff. And I kind of feel like that's a lot of the reason why I still get like at that shitty Fontana show. <laughs> if, if any of you don't keep up on the mono of Facebook, you totally should. But um, I had a totally shitty house show in Fontana a couple weeks ago. Just, I mean, it, it was funny because I played two songs and it went fucking terribly, right? But, um, after I realized that it really wasn't going to get any better, I'm wasting my time. I did not need the measly amount of money that they want to give me that badly. Um, I start packing up, and I, I start getting kind of cheered, like, on the low-key. Like, as I'm leaving, I hear someone yell, asshole, and that kind of thing, and some kid comes out, like, oh, I like your set. Like, as I'm pulling away. But it's like, dude, if you like my set, why the fuck didn't you clap? You know, like, oh, peer pressure. You're 16 year old Mexicans, I get that. But still, though, I mean, it's. You kind of gotta be independent, even when you're that young. I mean, that's really where I am, where I am today, <laughs> to be honest. You all kind of think I'm a dick. I'm, I'm really not. I'm a completely honest, translucent dude. But the reason why I'm. I'm viewed as such is because I'm so against that grain of complacency and oh, you know, our little polite mannerisms and small talk and hey, will you listen to my music please, you big fucking charismatic music resource you. Oh, that brings me to another thing. If you're in a band, I don't really care how good you are. Don't ask me <laughs> an opinion of your music. If you, if you want to know what I really think about your music or care or anything, I'll probably tell you on my own if we're that good of friends. Don't approach me like a musician, approach me just like a fucking dude, because that's, that's really what I am. As much as I can trip out and go all god status on you online, I am just a human being like the rest of you. The only difference is that I probably wear myself with more personality than you do, and you should too. Embrace your inner Pete, or whatever your name happens to be. What other albums have I listened to lately? I'll have to get back to you on that one. But also, on the Monomade um, Music uh, YouTube channel, I've also been uploading some stuff besides the Beauty is Death video that I've been doing for my editing classes. I'm liking video a lot. I mean, for where I am and how long I've been doing it, I feel like I'm relatively good at it. So that being said, like I did a, an edit of Juno the other day to make it kind of film noir Lolita-esque. Um, and uh, there's like a composite of clips and a different one set to an Animal Collective song. 
it's, it's just good stuff. I think you'll appreciate my style. Like, not everything I do is fragmented and dark and- oh! Jesus, I- well, my- my mind is fragmented as always. I can't even get a fucking sentence out without digressing, but... The whole concept of negative emotions- I should have said this, like, a couple minutes ago. The whole concept of that is half the- well, obviously, it's the dichotomy between having negative emotions and a positive outlook. Specifically, it refers to the time after, like, it's been almost a year now, after I broke up with my serious girlfriend for some time, and here I am doing my own single thing in LA, woohoo. Um, and yeah, basically just being fucking burned up and torn apart, I wouldn't say so much right now, but you know, being fucking ravaged by all these negative emotions you're having, but at the same time, you know, you, I have my head on straight, I know what I'm doing, I'm going to school, I'm going to do big shit with my band and other shit in my life, but at the same time, you still kind of have that inner cynicism, that fucking dark passenger, if any of you are Dexter fans, I had to throw that out there, I'm sorry, but that show fucking rules. <laughs> um, that kind of takes over you, and actually I think the song I'm going to be doing um, right now is kind of my send-off, like most of the song is like my typical angsty, yo, woman suck, lol, <laughs> kind of vibe, but it also kind of has that glimmering hope that's like, you know, like there's always going to be that part of me that still kind of longs for you and, you know, knows that there could be something someday, provided that you become a real woman and stop being a fucking little girl. Love you. Um, but, uh, <laughs> um, I guess if you guys have any questions or anything that you want me to address in a future video, you should definitely ask in the comments. Um, or you can troll and bitch about either my live performances or about how I'm like a Britney Spears studio fag or how I am Arrow was better or whatever other illegitimate complaint that you guys have because. You know, I can see how you guys could com complain about I Am Era back in the day being kind of amateurish and the production's kind of uh, or whatever. But it's kind of like saying you don't like LA, like my recent music. Like, my music that I'm making now is so fucking diverse in terms of just going from song to song that to say that you hate me in general would be to say that you hate many a genre. And I think I do a lot of things relatively well. So that being said, peace and love, comrades, children, celestial, I don't, I, don't, I don't know where I was going with that. And for the record, no, I'm not high. I don't even do that anymore. I get high with a little help from my friends, but that's about it. So that being said, hit me up, add the Facebook, subscribe to me, and whatever else you think is appropriate. Peace and love. Ha <laughs> ha.